Hello guys, how you doing? Welcome, I'm Sim UK. This is Cartel Cut Tycoon, a game which I very much liked when it first came out. And um, I'm very pleased to be able to say that uh, they've sent me their just about to release newest DLC, uh, which is uh, after the anniversary update here, which has um, implemented a lot of positive changes, I believe, from uh, feedback from the community. Now, if you don't know what Cartel Tycoon is, Imagine Pablo Escoban back in the 80s where it was all cool and flash cars and guns and explosions and stuff. All those sort of big 80s and maybe even into the 90s movies. That's what this game is kind of all about. The artwork on this game is wonderful. I think GTA sort of 3 onwards kind of artwork. Absolutely stunning game. But as an RTS... It is incredibly complex and very intricate and anything and everything can change in a matter of seconds. You're going to be up against some of the most difficult um, enemies that you've got to try and defeat and this game is very, very hard. I have not played it a lot as much as I like it. I haven't played it a lot since the game released but this is the biggest and newest DLC release. It's called San Rafaela. If I just read you off the Steam page a little bit. Feel the warmth of the sun, the cool breeze of the sea, and the excitement of new conquests in this ultimate summer paradise of San Rafaela. Now, I've already, um, I've already changed and had a go at the story, crashing the system. So I've had a bit of a practice playthrough so that I can get myself up to speed. They reckon it's going to take about 10 to 15 hours to complete. My first playthrough took me four hours and I didn't really progress that far. So I think 10 to 15 hours is a little bit of, um, you, you, you kind of need to be a pro at this game. You can see that the challenge is hard and um, this is the new map. Lots of water inlets and stuff so you can um, ship your goods, your illegal narcotics via land, sea and air. And um, yeah, really, really good game. So we're going to take a look at it for you today. Have a little bit of a playthrough. Start a brand new blank play. And um, we'll see how we get on. Now there's a lot of um, nuances and little nuggets that um, are really important to know in this game. And um, if you don't know them, they're probably going to bite you in the butt a little bit. But that kind of adds to some degree to the fun, if you will, because um, in, in, in actual terms, you know, back in Pablo Escoban's day, uh, things like unexpected things would be happening on a regular basis. Uh, so my Spanish is appalling, so I apologize in advance for that, but here we go. There's a common saying amongst the people of San Rafaela. There's a bar in Belenas with your photo on the wall. It's a phrase which means your past will always catch up with you in the end. Looking a little dry there, senor. Shall I get you another? A square jaw in a brown newsboy cap tends the bar. It's a small dive without a name, just a sign on the door that reads, pigs will be butchered. This comment raises some solitary shape of a man hunched over the bar from its stupor. Pardon. He is drinking in the company of a photograph. The shape of a man veiled in a dull grey tracksuit fades against a dull grey wall. Standing out against the grey scale is a bold black plate held in his hands. Heavy white lettering reads Cassel DTTO Judicial Belena CTO 26722 Falco Guillermo. The bartender points with a tattered rag at the near empty grass in front of him. Oh, no, gracias. He smiles politely and tucks the photo into the pocket of his shirt. Okay, pues gritas si necesitas algo si? My ears are always open. The bartender slings the rag over his shoulder and moves to the other end of the bar. The door, the door to the bar swings open, allowing the midday Sirocco to blow through. With it comes a man with a stone-grained hair and a stoic expression to match. He scans the bar, a 
and finding whom he seeks, stalks towards the man drinking alone. Your padre would be turning in his grave if he saw the state of you, Willem of Valkor. His lecture begins before he even reaches the bar. You used to eat carne asada at the dinner table with statesmen. Now you're drinking this. The stone-faced man swills the last of lights, blonde beer round the bottom of the glass. This piss warm beer in this antro de la mamerta. The bartender snorts at the remark. Gallardo shoots him a look. Good to see you too, Roberto. Guillermo. The journalist huffs like a tired dog and pulls up a chair. Por favor, Miretta, damiso. <coughs> Apologies for my Spanish. This is the man you wanted to be, Guillermo? Is this the man your father would have wanted you to be? You hitched your cart to a lame horse. I am not Miapa. No, that much is apparent. Your father was a pillar of the institution in this country. Founder of the PRE, the Partido Revolucionero Establecimiento. He embodied the role of leader de la opposition. That sounded rather French, didn't it? Apologies. But I still think that man is there, somewhere. Gallardo presses a finger firmly against Falco's chest. It is the year of an election presidential, your name on the ballot. It is your birthright. Eshami, Roberto. Las autoridades have seized everything. My accounts, my home. My name is in the dirt. Then we will exhume it. Nearby, <clears throat> the bartender stands, wiping down his bar with an old tattered rag. Galave lowers his voice. When you were detained, I made arrangements for a portion of your accounts to be emptied. I used some of the money to keep your name out of the papers, and what was left is hidden away in a rat hole not too far from here. Falco sighs. Now it wouldn't surprise me if some of the money has been lost to time and vermin. Ah, oh, a splendido. But there should be more than enough to buy back your home from Las Otaridas. And maybe even a little left over to reward a faithful friend, eh? I don't know what to say. Then save your words. You will need them soon enough. And here we go. This is the new map, guys. Absolutely huge. And um, this DLC comes out on the 22nd in about five days from now. So I'm going to put together a bit of a playthrough and um, we'll see how we get on. Not easy though, I can assure you of that. Wow, why did it go there? It just goes wherever your mouse is, that's kind of cool. Brilliant detail, love all this, all the speed boats and stuff. Um, Aeroplanes flying over all the time. Got an airport over here, which we may or may not be able to utilize. We've got, um, what's this called, a ferry station. And this is like an outskirts, it's a checkpoint that leads out. Um, so we'll be selling our goods uh, through places like this and this and the, and the airport. <coughs> Excuse me. So we have two characters. They're the same two characters that we just met. Um, this is Roberto Gallardo. Uh, we don't pay him any money. And he's uh, a level two um, default power, which is very good. He's zealous, which means he's completely faithful to us, 100% faithful to us. Um, and his endurance, um, they both seem to be inactive. I don't know if they mean permanently inactive, but he shouldn't run away from a fight, is basically what that means. Uh, so he's got, um, lieutenants get additional power, the people help you in war conflicts, so um, even though he's a level one, I think he gets two points or something. When we're in an actual fight, gets an extra bonus point. So he can move anywhere and he can interview people. We can conduct interviews in any city building to increase loyalty. Um, I'm just going to pause, pause the game for a second whilst I go through this lot. Um, to increase loyalty, all buildings in the city will be turned off for a few days. So loyalty and respect up here is absolutely essential. Um, Lieutenants get additional power. Oh, this is where they get the additional power from because there's so much loyalty and respect. It makes them stronger and more powerful. 
Loyal citizens here, as long as we have at least one thumbs up, we won't lose control of the city. If we lose control of the city, then um, they'll raise up, rise up against us and kill us. Um, there's so many ways you can die in this game, it's unbelievable. Terror offences, this basically um, is uh, introduced by a whole plethora of things. There are so many things that can cause this to go up. We can go into the city and ask the mayor, that's this guy, for a favour to decrease the terror level. Um, <clears throat> or we can behave ourselves and be very quiet and stay under the radar. That's the only two ways I know of to reduce terror offences. But as these terror offences increase, you'll see more and more stronger police presence coming and taking, seizing assets and closing off roads and attacking us and arresting people and all sorts of craziness. It's going to take a little while before we get to that point. So here we are. This is our old residence. And uh, we've got to release this. That's going to cost us 12000 so we'll start there. And then we've got to take the money from these rat holes. Basically, these are fake um, graves that actually have... Um... Oh, wow, look. So you lose $24 every single day. Money rots. 2952 has already rotted. So there was like 30 grand in there originally. We've lost 1200 there, 1200 there. So money rots if you bury it. That's really interesting. Um, compare that to the produce that you grow, like coffee and um, vegetables and stuff like that. That doesn't seem to rot, but the money does, which is quite interesting. We've also got a jewellery store over here in the city. You can build a plethora of buildings, stuff that um, gives you more money. The stuff for, um, um, what's, the, what's, what's the word? Cleaning money, laundering money. Um, so we pay them a certain amount and every week it will return, say, 23000 or 7000 So if we're not making that much money, we'll have to leave it on 7000 Because if I put it on 23000 you won't get 23800 at the end. What you will get is um, it stopping because if you're not putting enough in you won't get that much out um, in addition to that our character here Roberto Galamo has another go into his profile you see he's got the uh, interview skill and pretty sh soon we'll be able to upgrade him and give him this sole proprietorship which increases money laundering volume by 15% but only if he's present in the business this is our guy, Guillermo Falco. He's a peacemaker. Um, whilst this character is in a city, loyalty will grow from time to time. That's always useful. Um, make a deal, heroin. Select the make a deal special order. After the conclusion of the deal, you will be able to sell a certain product at a better price. Greatest evil. While this character is in a city, terror will grow from time to time, but other characters with the infamous ability will not generate terror. That's really interesting. Um, there's a bunch of additional henchmen, I guess you'd call them, that we can hire and take on and grow our company with. Um, and it sounds like if he is in the same city as them, or the same area, same city, so if he's in the same city, um, they're, they're infamous, uh, so their terror level offences will not increase as long as he's there as well. So that's really cool. You could have him and some of the most cutthroat, evil, nasty sons of bitches all in one city, and you'll only get his um, negative effect, which is very cool. Uh, dry cannabis dealer affects the selling price of dry cannabis at the smuggling point where the lieutenant is located. Increasing it by 10%. That's good. Uh, this lieutenant increases the power of other lieutenants when in combat together, but can be injured more easily. That's worrying. <coughs> laundering manager increases money laundering volume by 10% in a specific area. And you can also host a party in the residence for lieutenants inside. The residence will not work, but each day the lieutenants at the party will gain allegiance. And that's also very important. Right. So, um, we've got a couple of farms. It looks like these farms are full. Uh, it looks like we can also upgrade them, which is cool. I'm just going to shut all of these for now, because we're not currently doing anything. We're not in a position to be doing anything. 
This warehouse doesn't quite reach these farms. I'm going to have to do something about that. Um, right, I think I've got you up to speed. Is there anything else? Oh, yeah, of course, research. So you've got this whole research area here. Very complex, very advanced. What's this? Warehouse level three. Oh, wow. What is that? 38,000. Wow. Storage capacity is large. Six trucks. And the truck size is large as well. Okay, cool. So one of the cool things about this um, DLC is that normally you start down here at level one and you have to work your way through and it's very difficult. Then you have to unlock level two stuff and then level three stuff up here. But it does appear that some of the things like level three farms are available to you straight away. Um, that doesn't make them any cheaper. 38,000 is huge amounts of legal cash. That's very important. Um, 10,000 for a level 3 farm. That's pretty cool. I might I might jump onto that. So you've got dirty money. This is money that you earn from selling your uh, illegal goods. And then you've got legal money. Legal money is, stuff, is required to buy upgrades and certain buildings and objects and stuff like that. So you have to launder your dirty money it's very very important right so um i made a mistake in my first playthrough i opened this up and this can only hold forty thousand um dollars so um i took all this money here which is seventy thousand and ended up losing 35 so that was quite irritating um in order to sell stuff over here at the checkpoint we're gonna have to pay them some money like in any I, um, any building or anything that we implement in this game, you can pay them with illegal money or legal money. 900 a day, that's very expensive. So we're probably going to try and accumulate some goods before we open that up and try selling stuff there. In addition to that, we can position some lieutenants in the checkpoint itself, and that allows us to sell more goods through and make more money, which is very, very important. Um, on the ground, we have different uh, growing areas. Some areas you, for here, for example, you wouldn't be able to grow opium on any of the red slots. Yellow is like 60% and green is 100% quality. Um, cannabis growing only works there and over here. Cocoa, apparently can't grow that anywhere. Vegetables, it's not great for growing vegetables, so we're going to have a bit of a problem there. Got some nice hot spots for coffee growing though, that's rather useful. Uh, avocados, good spot up there, otherwise pretty meh. Quinoa, very limited growing options for quinoa. Uh, citric acid, so this is, um, I think this is military. So in order to take this area, which I'm sure we will have to at some point, we're going to have a hell of a time taking that, I tell you. Especially with our little misfit of band of men at the beginning. All right, <clears throat> so I think I've got you up to speed. Any questions, just let me know in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. But let's jump in and let's start doing the game, as it were. So I'm going to take all three of the caches and close them down and then I'm going to raise the upkeep for uh, Roberto Gallardo. So let's do that straight away. We'll give him a small amount, 50 bucks a week. He's taking legal money. So I've got to make sure <coughs> that we're laundering enough money to keep him quote unquote satisfied. All right, let's start the game rolling. We're going to move over here. Uh, can I dig this up? Oh, I can just dig this up straight away. Okay, so I can dig up all three of those. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get him to interview the, uh, the jewellery store. This is hopefully going to boost our loyalty and respect. If we can get up to level 3, I don't know what this unlocks actually. Low gang activity. Enemy gang attacks will occur less frequently. Terror goes down faster. The people love you more than are afraid. So some really beneficial upgrades here if we can get them working. Um, things you can do if you go into buildings, there are certain things like, um, so let's say, we just want loyalty. 
A casino will build loyalty, it will give loyalty on action which is high. And a casino actually isn't that expensive, 30,000, and it can generate 22,600 every seven days. So probably a good idea to get some loyalty buildings stuck in here as quick as we can. But I know from experience that in order to sell stuff through here, we're going to have to talk to the director. He's currently dedicated. So the office of airport director is a large rotunda enclosed by windows from floor to ceiling and shrouded by thick black out curtains. Operations are handled downstairs, senor. This is where I handle any administration that requires a degree of delicacy. Oh, you handle many such matters at a public airport. Flores Avion sits behind a large horseshoe desk at the centre of the room. A thick, downturned walrus moustache complements his stern expression. How can I help you, senor? I want to move my merchandise through the airport, Avion. I was hoping we could come to some sort of arrangement. Delicacy be damned, then. This isn't one of your aerodromes, Capo. <clears throat> People are relatively simple quarry compared to narcoticos. I'm sure an industrious man such as yourself can make the appropriate accommodations. Avion's moustache twitches above his lip. Were you to find a way to increase passenger traffic with an event likely to catch the eye of the world's public, the opening of a new football stadium, for example, with that many people coming through the airport, some things might go unaccounted for. I'll see what I can do. So, he wants us to build an amusement park and a salsa club. They don't need to be built in the same city, but we do need to get them built in order to get access to the airport. Now, that's really that could be really useful for us because we can start shifting stuff through the airport or through here. Uh, so that's that's all very very good. Right. So what I'm going to do? Actually, I'm going to stick him down here but these rat holes are great um, you know if everything's going wrong if everything's going horribly wrong then um, you know a rat hole can save you because a rat hole is a whole bunch of money that you can get access to very quickly I'm not sure if this is legal money. I'm guessing this is dirty money. I don't know if you can rat hole legal money or not. I've not actually tried. But I, I am thinking, you know, if we start earning big money, I might put a couple of hundred thousand in a rat hole just for a rainy day when everything goes wrong. Because in this game, things will go wrong. There are some confusing elements to it. It's very complex, very tricky. Uh, and it's very easy to uh, accidentally cock everything up, basically. Right, so I'm going to get um, Guillermo Falco to drop off 40 grand into the jewellery store. And we'll start processing that at 24,000. That'll give us lots of legal money. But we are, at some point, going to have to uh, get some actual produce growing and processed and stuff. So we've got a really good growing area here for opium. Um, we can grow a bit of cannabis there as well, but cannabis is probably going to come over this side, away from here. Um, we're going to need to disguise the stuff that we're selling, so we're going to do that with things like vegetables, which this isn't very good, coffee. So. We've got excellent coffee growing areas, which is kind of useful. Um, so what I might do is go straight into a level two coffee area. I'm going to get a hundred percent. Take that a little bit. What is that obstructed by? The tree? 
98% soil quality. Okay. Bomb. Annoyingly, I can't get three in there. But at two at 99% and one at 63%. Oh, it was 85% there. Right, that's three uh, cocoa growing fields. Right. Sandy roads are very slow, but also free. So to start with, I'm going to just go with three of those. So, right, so now I need a warehouse. Uh, put the warehouse as far over as I can get it. Oh, actually, let's turn this on. Right, so you can see all these lines are coming out. Anything that's within range, the circle, um, can be paid for with illegal money. So these guys are going to start transferring this cash into the hub, but like I say, we can only hold a maximum of 40 grand. So it's really important that you don't have more than 40 grand in there because you're just going to lose it, outright lose it. So in the house, I've got like six grand, something like that. So that six grand should be enough to get these three farms up and running and they will just run off of illegal money rather than legal money so that makes our lives a lot easier we don't have to clean that cash it will just come through naturally so now that they're built i can put the warehouse in and i can see whether or not a farm is within reach you can see it's turned from white to green and whatnot there so you want your warehouses as central as possible I'm going, to, I'm going to jam that in there and we're also going to build oh have i i haven't got a transport company right let's have a look in research here i need a transport company transport company level one it is quite difficult to locate them that's a drying rack that's a lab there's transport company number two, that's warehouse level two, that's river pier, residence, chemical plant, that's aerodrome, workshop. What the hell is it? Is it that one? Plantation, plantation. Where are you? Transport company level two, right, so we're gonna have to go level two warehouse level two before we can get transport company level two so we are going to have to go com transport company level one you can see that cost us a lot of money straight away now you can also have connections so if we connect to the um uh what's this called checkpoint then it will pay them illegal cash if we swap it to illegal cash it will also take any money that we earn from selling stuff there hello here's the mayor will you just whack will you listen whack whack jamandre whack guillermo Franco furiously hammers the side of the side of his fist against the stuttering television set the picture abruptly up and scrambles will you just listen to that noise on the screen, Almagro Torres cups a hand against his ear. A jubilant crowd clamours for the man of the moment on this, the night of his mayoral election victory. And in a single sudden wave of his hand, and a silence falls over the crowd like a spell. The capo snorts. Well, Vilantie, Vilente, certainly got his hooks into El Publico, which suits me fine if I want to hold, get hold of a, on a region. The capo places a finger on the screen in the middle of Almagro's Torres's chest. Then it is mayo I'll need to go through. Oh, and who is this? 
Valiente drags his finger across the screen to a grey-suited man, Panfilo Ramos, chief of the Policia Nacional. A mare in your pocket is also a wonderful tool to keep lost tombos at bay. So this is what I was saying to you before. If your terror offences increase, and ours have gone up a little bit, you can speak to the mayor and get that to reduce, but it costs you loyalty and respect. So very important to keep this up. Very important indeed. Um, there's a few other things we can do. We could borrow cash off him, and basically that's just telling you that. It's like a, a mini tutorial, if you will. Almost done. Going on here. Responda, por favor. Right, so let's move him into here. We should be able to launder a bit of extra cash if that's the case. There's 44k in there, 12,000 here. That should be enough to keep us running for a little while. Right, so this farm we want it to just for the moment at least just take coffee which I can't see, there it is. So that's going to bring all that coffee in. Once we get logistics open, um, we'll be able to uh, sell some of that. So we can sell legal stuff, and then we can convert that legal stuff to contain some illegal stuff, and then, um, yeah, then we're going to be good. Then we're going to be making some real money. Roberto Eshume, where are we going? Aguanto Varo, amigo. It wasn't the first time Roberto Gallardo had said this since the two had climbed into the back of a black SUV outside of Falco's newly reacquired residence in Belenas. The less you know, the easier this will be to understand. Eventually, the SUV pulls over to a curb on the outskirts of a formerly residential area in Mexitland. An imperious canvas sign hangs across the face of a building. Affiliate to Partido Tenesita. The words are attributed to the likeness of a woman. High as they are above the street, her eyes are keeping a vigil over those who pass below. Roberto Gallardo adjusts his cravat. Let me do the talking. The men are led through the building and into an office on the second floor and a modest writing table. A few moments pass before the door opens once again and she enters. Camilla Cavantes, head of the Partido Revolucionario Establishimiento. <laughs> Pardon, um, pardon uh, me. I was delayed putting together a short list of candidates to replace our outgoing Secretaria de Salud. The leader de la opposition grants a kind eye to the grain haired journalist sitting at her table. Roberto, you have my thanks once again for keeping his debauchery from the front pages. Camilla, por favor, de nada. What crime does a man commit by loving a woman after all? If he is caught with his trousers around his ankles in the back of a mezcal rack house when he's supposed to be promoting our new manifesto on export tax, then public indecency, intoxication, as well as a few potential public health violations? Si, pues. I am only thankful you were able to spare some time to meet with us today. You are much too gracious. She turns her attention to the man wearing a quiet look of uneasy bewilderment. So you must be Guillermo Falco. Must I be? The journalist tightens his lips, glaring at Falco. See, si, I must. Camilla Cavantes looks him up and down methodically. To speak plainly, I had envisioned you slightly differently. I expected you to look more like him. You knew me, Appa? Of course. He named me his successor, did he not? The comment bites into Falco's soft underbelly. Guillermo has his mother's face, but his father's spirit is in there. Gallardo presses a finger firmly against Falco's chest. Somewhere. <laughs> Let's hope so. We have an election on the horizon, so we can ill afford any more mistakes. The Partido Acion Conservador has held power in this country since 1929. Your father founded this party to break that stronghold. You can count on me, Senora. I prefer actions to words, Falco. That's why I need you to show me you can raise funds. You are an entrepreneur, I hear. I... But before he can answer, he is interrupted. See, si, just like his father. Right, so we've got to sell 500 units of opium packaged in a legal, legal product of our choosing and 350 units of dry cannabis. Now, to make dry cannabis, you have to dry it. it. means we need a dryer, and we don't currently have access to that. That's up here. 
frying rack level one. So we need to unlock tier two, which is 21,000 in research, or we could unlock farm level three for 10,000 and then drying rack for 21,000. So that will only cost us 30,000 to get drying rack level two instead of 21,000 plus 30,000. So that costs 50,000. So it's a lot cheaper if we start working on farm level three. <coughs> so I'm going to add that to research. And we're also going to add a new delivery route and an additional truck. What does this do? Hyper efficiency. Dirty money upkeep decreases, so it makes it cheaper to run things. Okay. That's not too bad. Look out for 500. And we'll increase the range of warehouse level one stuff as well. So we've got 1,347 in legal money. Uh, we're not going to get any more money for quite a while yet, so I may be already causing myself a bit of an issue here. But I need to unlock a transport company because otherwise we can't shift our goods. So these guys are producing eight units of coffee uh, every two days, basically, it looks like. So that's a lot of coffee. So this is probably going to fill up pretty quick. We're already at 24 units of coffee. Uh, but that's fine. We can start selling coffee straight through here. We're also going to need a workshop. Now that's 10 grand I need to process there. We need legal money to do it. So. We have to be patient and wait for the seven days. Um... Okay, is there anything I can build? We've got a warehouse, we've got the farms, production, logistics, residence and cash, farms. So if I go level 2 farm cannabis, we can start preparing our next sort of uh, development area. So 60 soil quality, 60 soil quality. This is the best we're going to get, basically. Right, so I've got three there. That's really nice. Again, we'll run... A road all the way down, as far as I can get it. We'll connect these up. The better I connect these, the shorter the distance trucks have to travel. It does make sense to sort of think about it a little bit. And take a look at the ground. I'll just go straight up there. There's nothing else to grow there, so that's fine. pretty good <clears throat> now question is did I build them within range of this oh it's gonna be tight <clears throat> this one may oh no 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 just in range look at that I was lucky so all three of these are gonna get paid for using dirty money and that helps us out so much and so that only one of them is going to be in range of this. But this doesn't take cannabis anyway, so it's not a big deal. Right, we're going to turn these off for the moment because we're not ready for them. We are not ready for you. There's no point growing cannabis. There's nowhere I can put them. Quite a lot of research to do before we'll be ready for that. Right, so the upkeep money is going in. 325 bucks. Transport company uh, created, so let's go to logistics, transport company. 
and we're going to place this transport company right in the middle of everything I guess kind of makes sense again it's within range of our building so we can use illegal money to pay for that how much is there 4,300 and something odd <coughs> How are we doing for coffee? 64 units already. And how much can we sell coffee for? 32... 32 bucks. So with 64 units and 32 bucks, we're going to be making... Oh my God. Very small amount of money. Where did that coffee go? Ahem. <coughs> All right, so this has instantly taken that coffee, which is a bit annoying. We'll just set that to none. I wish they would, I wish they, when you built them, they were started with none. Because now I've got 36 units of coffee that's just stuck in here. Now the transport company, we're gonna want them to transport goods to uh, the checkpoint. So that is that. <clears throat> we're also gonna need more than Two connection points. So we're working on a level three farm, which is very good but very expensive. It will boost the amount of produce that we can make for that and that. You can see these are red, they're all lit up red, that means they're full. Their capacity has already been maximized. Um, if I had some legal money, I could upgrade them to the next size farm any second now. Any second now, we should get 23,540, but these two are there, so we should get a bit of a bonus, 10% bonus on that. We should get slightly more cash laundered, which is always useful. Right, so we have our setup in place. Uh, we don't have a drying rack yet, but we will soon. And we also need a workshop. That's 10 grand. I'm going to have to research that. Because without a workshop, we can't process our drugs into uh, sellable format. How much is this one? 21,000. Right, crikey. We are going to have to make some cash in order to make that work. There's absolutely no denying that. Right, let's get rid of this old road network goes to nowhere, we don't need that anymore. Bit of a mess. Um, I'm not sure that warehouse is going to be any good to us, although it is in a prime location for growing opium over there, so maybe we'll do something with it at a later date. Uh, right, so we're producing good, good, good numbers of coffee. We're going to get to the point where we're making too much coffee if I'm not careful. We may have to start selling here, but uh, we've only got 4,000 left and at 900 a week, or is it 900 a day? 900 a day! That's very expensive. So I'm going to have to be really careful there. Right, I'm going to put him in the city. So we're going to have to drop this down because we're not actually producing enough cash to cover the cost of that. That's a bit of a problem. That is a bit of a problem. Uh, what are we working on this? So we haven't paid for that one yet. So we, the cannabis thing is going to have to wait. We can't do anything with the cannabis. We're going to have to focus on the opium instead. So let's get a warehouse in. So this warehouse here can reach both of those units. I could also put this warehouse right down here. Arguably. better location. Right, this is going to have to be built with legal money. We're going to need a 
transport company, which hopefully... Put it there, it's going to be in range of both... Both of those two warehouses, that means I could shift stuff from here to here, theoretically. Uh, so let's say this only holds opium, and this one only holds opium. Road for this. Uh, I've noticed a few little bugs actually in the game. If you put it on here, it kind of transitions down. Uh, maybe that's intentional. I don't know. Um, but anyway, so there's a road connection there leading straight to that. You do have to have. Guillermo Falco grimaces and pulls a tangled vine from Roberto Gallardo's hair. So tell me again. Que not da capo. We received word about a rival gang setting up shop in a nearby jungle land, so we set off to check it out. But word must have reached them that we were on our way, because when we got there the place was abandoned and they must have gone quickly too, because they left all the equipment you'd need for a dryer. It's probably about $2,000 worth of stuff there. Fantastic. What should we do with it, senor? Save the equipment. Fantastic. So we've just got ourselves a free dryer, which is huge because uh, we were trying to work towards getting that done. And we were miles away from having it happen. Right, so I could put this dryer pretty much anywhere, I think. Put it here in some dead space. Again, within range of here, so we're not going to have to pay for the upkeep of it. We can open these now. Uh, this warehouse, though, does not reach all the way down, so we are going to need another warehouse in here. Hopefully that will fit, yes. Right, so this one just holds coffee. That's all that does is hold coffee. And this guy is waiting for dried for cannabis leaves. So these guys are producing how much cannabis? 19 units of cannabis a day. Uh, so none on there. So cannabis and dry cannabis. And we'll say anything that's got drugs in it. Right, so the cannabis is coming out of the farm, going to the warehouse, and then the warehouse is supplying the drying factory. Perfect. So that's all working. So that should now be producing cannabis. Okay, there's not quite enough in there. I need 34 units of cannabis, which is a lot. I may need to build more farms, if that's the case. You can see that's all working quite well. Um, all we need now is a workshop. And maybe I'll refund level 3 farm for now. And we'll focus on... What are we working on now, then? New delivery route. We'll remove that from the queue. Workshop. There we go. So we need the workshop more than we need anything else. So we'll put the same things back in, but in a different order. I should have done workshop first. <coughs> so the workshop is where we take the dried cannabis and the coffee and we combine them together. So we're selling legal coffee products with illegal stuff sort of hidden inside of it. That's basically what's going on there. Right, um, level three farm would be very useful though. 
however. What's going on here? This has got maximum coffee in it. So, if I open this up, say none, and coffee, and we can start selling coffee legally through there. So this is a legal business, 630 for 18 units. So we're really gonna have to hit that hard. We're gonna have to basically put 36 units through there per day in order to have enough money to cover the cost of um, having it open. But it does get rid of some of the coffee, so that's good. That is a good thing. Right, so where else can I grow cannabis? So all along there, so I can sort of branch out across the top and across the bottom and even a little section over here if necessary. We're about 50% through the workshop, so this is good, 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 good. Enhanced network, yeah. We'll bang that on there as well. We're going to have to come back to level 3 farms. We haven't really got enough cash for that, or maybe we do. Okay, so I've got 8 grand in legal money left. I need to drop this down to a lower amount, because we're not making that much money. Not making enough money to justify the cost of, of that. Jewelry store has stopped operating. Okay. So it hasn't got enough cash to process. Okay, this is a problem. So one of the other things you can do is click on it and click on the, um, the jewelry store and then it will take any spare cash that we've got in the house and bring it down here. Now, I may have got myself into a bit of a situation here. We've only got 18,000 left, and I need to start chucking stuff through there really quickly. Yeah, see, that's, that's not really enough. <clears throat> start processing coffee and any of this stuff. So we will start shifting coffee. That'll bring the number of coffee units in there down. But obviously this is not cost effective. We're not, we're not making good money by doing this. We're just keeping control of the amount of coffee that we've got. Putting a, another short road in there so that they can come out either way a little bit quicker. Might even put one here just to speed up that transition so that's more immediate. I don't like the way that the gravel road goes over the main road. I wish they'd fix that little bug. But uh, anyway, that's a minor problem. So this guy is not getting enough cannabis. Slam another one of those in there, and then we'll make sure that we've got a road that comes between it. And that's what we're going to need. Hopefully, we can get farms either side of that. Lots of um, building opportunities for farms in the future. I want to 
going on here. So that's got maximum coffee in it. So we can't shift out the coffee quick enough, apparently. This just seems a little bit daft. What's going on here? Terror offence has just gone up a little bit, which happens because he is who he is. Right, there's no cash left in there, but we've got 35,000 in legal money, so hopefully that gives us enough time to start processing some of these goods and getting uh, hidden narcotics going through the border, which will definitely increase our profits. What's going on here? Their storage is full. You see how slow the trucks are on this gravel road. Uh, on Sandy Road, rather. So this is 300 units right here. How much is that going to cost me? quid but it will be worth it because of the increased speed that they, tra they transport goods at we shouldn't have any more instances where this is uh, getting sorted right the reason why this isn't being built is because we have no cash in here uh, we need to start making cash. What's going on here? 75. That's being paused because there's no money to pay for it. So we're going to have to start paying them with legal money. That's 900 a day in legal money. That's a problem. It's, I don't understand why having maximum storage of coffee uh, causes alarm. But it does anyway. So they're loading cargo. That's 900 a day. So that should at least start going through. That keeps everything above board. That's all legal money. And as soon as this research is done, we can start producing the hidden cannabis that we need. So annoyingly, everything is going to have to go legal paid for now. Because we're not making enough cash to do it with the illegal cash. We are at least ticking boxes. Just got a thumbs up here. Bit of loyalty and respect increase. That's very nice. Right, so whilst that's not getting any money... Oh, I can't do it yet. In a few days, he can interview them again. Who's this? So he's disaffected. Amanda Cruz, a.k.a. El, El Enganche. Guillermo Falco checks his watch. Nearly five minutes have elapsed since the start of the phone call with not a sound on the other end until suddenly a man clears his throat. My apologies. Business is an unruly child, incessantly pulling at your arms and dragging you away from what you intended to do. Hmm. And just what business is that, senor? Uh, I have not introduced myself. How unprofessional. Guillermo Falco, I am El Patron of Espada de Bolivia. Espada de Bolivia. Bolivar. What is that? A book club? A laughter is suppressed on the other end of the line. What? You thought El Fuego Santo was the only narco organization in this side of the border? Give it time. I'm sure you'll come to see just how competitive the market is. I'm sure we can handle a little competition. So quick to be at odds, but there is even ground to be found here at Guillermo, Guillermo Falco. You see, gang leaders come in all shapes and sizes, each defined individually by their beliefs, their capabilities, their business. A gang leader will sell you if you're running, will sell to you if you're running low, or buy from you if you are running a little high. They'll happily take half of what you have simply for driving through their territory, unless you can negotiate safe passage. The right words might turn them into a powerful ally, and wrong words into a fearsome enemy. For all their differences, they are unified, unified by a question, which will they, which will they be to you, destiny or death? Pues, it's a, it sure sounds like a book club. <laughs> okay, so negotiating with the other factions, the the other bosses who are running areas over here, doing basically the same thing as us, that's quite important. Um, I've never really got 
so far into the game to be able to do that because as much as everything seems to be running quite well right now um, things will definitely workshop fantastic things will definitely turn sour sooner rather than later uh, so I don't have enough dirty money for that I'll have to use legal money which is annoying because that's an extra cost Right, so that is in range of both of these uh, locations. We have a little bit of dirty money now and a new event. What's the new event? So he's disaffected, which means he's going to become volatile very soon. So if we talk to him, it's match day, and the combined forces of capacity crowd and old steel structures seem determined for it to be known across the country by the sound of the cacophony they create. Away from the rabble is the director's box, a palatial space situated on the halfway line with built-in bar and padded seats. Investors, gentlemen of the board, and their honoured guests schmooze and clink crystal glasses, all asking after one man who's nowhere to be seen, Armando Cruz. Hey, Abitro! Did you forget your cards? Cruz is at the coal face amongst the hissing crowd, calling for the head of a nervous referee. A body moves across his view. Hey, buddy, move before I spill my drink. Uh, Perdona me. I wouldn't waste your drink, it's suave. Do that, and I'll spill your blood. So, I'm going to keep things cool, because uh, we don't want him as an enemy right now. Oh, okay, that made him like me even less. Okay. Pardon me, Senor Cruz. No question, just move. Oh, it's you. Guillermo Franco takes a seat next to Cruz. I wouldn't have expected to see you here today, Hermano. I didn't take you for a soccer fan. So I can only say I'm not. <clears throat> that didn't affect us, that's good. But I thought it was time we met as the heads of our respective organisations. I believe El Fuego Santo and Espada del Bolivar might be of some use to each other. Stranger things have happened, I suppose, but please, let's leave such discussion until after the final whistle. whistle. See? Cruz smiles and extends a hand to the capo. Chants of, Ole! ring out as the home team pass the ball effortlessly from one to another. OK, so that's constantly going down. Trade resources with the enemy gang to increase allegiance level. So I'm going to have to send him... Okay. So I can sell him stuff he wants methamphetamine which we don't have i could sell him coffee so i've got 18 days to deliver 150 coffee which will earn me 2250 bucks which is pretty crap really but it does stop him from being aggressive towards us so if i say I don't know if we've got enough coffee to cover the cost of that. We might need to grow more coffee. Whether or not we could do it in 18 days. Right, well, I'll cancel that for now. We'll focus on our own business and we'll come back to him later. Where is he? Tiguan. Okay. Where are we? Down here. Let's try and get our business up and running first. Like coffee and dried cannabis, that's what we're working with. Let's see if that starts happening. We've just gained an extra delivery route here, so we can deliver up to three locations, which is great. So this is the drying rack. It doesn't seem to be...
getting resources. Dry cannabis is there, so that should be supplying him. Do we have dry cannabis? We have 42 units of dry cannabis. Why are they not delivering to there? Oh, something just went in there. So some coffee went in there. We have dried cannabis. They only hold coffee. I think we'll get them to hold dried cannabis as well. In fact, let's use both those warehouses for the same thing. That way we can double the amount of stuff that we can hold without having to really do anything. So why are these not getting picked up? What's going on here? Ah, okay, so he wasn't getting paid, that's why. So they've got the maximum amount of cannabis they can hold. They're not getting anything. Why are they not getting anything? So maybe we'll put dry cannabis on there. And add that. Do I need to add that as well? Oh, there's some dry cannabis going in. Right, let's turn it up. I'm trying to figure out what is actually driving stuff over there. So nothing is taking anything there, right? If I put dry cannabis on that list, something just went in there. Right, so they are getting dry cannabis now. So I don't need that on. Is that right? so confused right now. That's dry cannabis and coffee. That's coming to here. Right, so are these guys selling dry cannabis and coffee? They are. Okay, good. Right, I think it's time we recruited a new lieutenant. What have we got? So he's a level one power, level one power, but prefers Terra level really high, which I don't like so much. Power level two, but again, Terra level really, really high. Just need someone chilled. Rapayet Grenier. Boy, does this fellow like to fool around. If you've never found your cola rigged with Mentos or plastic wrap across the toilet bowl, well, the joke's on you. Grenier's greatest asset is his poker face. He's a sneak who can get anything past anyone. But he's perfect we'll hire him he's completely free and we can move him here that opens up a second slot for processing more goods So we'll split the cannabis between the two. Because obviously one warehouse can't cope with all of that lot. Some cannabis is going to come here now. But then this is completely flipping full. Okay, we're just going to have to use legal money on all of these buildings for now because we're not making enough cash just yet to have it done with the legal cash. So, okay, we're starting to get on top of this again.
There's some money coming in from here. Right, we're going to switch this back to illegal money. Lost a bit of loyalty and respect there, that's not ideal. And I think, possibly, we're about to start turning a profit. Right, so we've got another farm here, producing cannabis on illegal cash. That should be fine. Good stuff. So we've got dry cannabis here. Why do we have dry cannabis here? Dry cannabis is going in there, it's just not happening very quickly. So I'm going to chuck that over there and get rid of the dry cannabis we had in storage, because we don't need it in here. Right, so this is now primarily just taking money, uh, drugs and coffee to here, and nothing else. What are we working on? Level 3 farm, so that's going to give us more... All right, we'll go for level three, and we'll also go for streamlined processing, increase capacity, and reduce the cost of doing it. Uh, we'll also go for the extra truck. And hyper efficiency. So all of that should channel uh, money towards our establishment. We're not really making enough just yet. We are selling some stuff. We are making some money. Very small amounts at the moment. So they've got a decent amount of dry cannabis, decent amount of coffee, so that seems to be working. Self-sustaining almost. According to this, they're still not getting enough cannabis. So they just need way more cannabis coming in. Which is crazy because there's 80, 83 units of cannabis right there. So maybe we just need more trucks. Maybe the, uh, the speed and process is too slow. That's a free sandy road from there to there. That might be even quicker. Look at that, bomb, instant. Instant, that's going to speed things up a lot. Might be able to do the same thing here, look. There we go, so that's now instant as well. In fact, the more of these little mini instant connections we have, the better, I would say. the truck doesn't have to drive out here and down here now it just goes boom, 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 boom. so this one will always be emptied <sighs> legal cash again we're not making enough illegal money to cover the cost of all this lot which is not good if it's going to be self-sustaining that needs to be happening Capo, a stranger at the border has offered to pay us a premium for a small batch of opium. I'm not sure if we should be dealing with people like this. Uh, yeah, we will. 100 units for 10 grand. Let's do it. So, we've already got this production on the go. I'm going to spend 3 grand of our money there on that. Let's open these up. Let's get to fill this up with opium. And then this guy, in four hours' time, is just, just going to shift it to the border. So if we come over here and we click on Opium, then that's going to work. So I've got to move him in order to do this. Roberto Gallardo to the Belenas region. So he's got to come over here. 
in order to make this work. He's the fence, basically. So cargo is going to be none. Just, just opium. That will do any hidden drugs and opium. He's going to export to there. So that's 100 units for 10 grand in money. That's very, very important, especially with the way things are going. Things are definitely difficult right now. There's only 1,000 in there. I may bring that down. That is already at 7,000. Damn it. Right. They're not getting enough dried cannabis, and the dried cannabis is complaining that they're not getting enough cannabis. So I need more cannabis farms. Is that what you're telling me? Level two cannabis farm. searching right now. Still working on level three farms. Nine days left. Okay. Right, here goes our opium. Dry cannabis is going in there at a very slow rate. Opium is also going in. I don't see the opium showing up anywhere though, which is a bit concerning. Have a look over here, see if it's. Oh, yeah, we've, we've done half of it already. 48 out of 100 already. So that's pretty lightning quick. Right, what we need to do is put a workshop over here. range of that. So we don't need to dry the opium. Oh, that's perfect. So that's in range of this. So this should now be able to start processing. Is that in range? If I can boost that up. It's already boosted up. Fleet size. That level one warehouse it is. So it's all going to run through this one then. That's okay. I mean that works. Uh, coffee, opium, production. I am going to have to have some more coffee farms, probably. Level two coffee. We've got some really hot coffee growing areas here. And this could play into our hands as well. So we've got four coffee plantations there. Okay, that's groovy. We're going to need a warehouse. That uh, encapsulates all of that. That road is right in the way. I wonder if I should just get rid of this one. Get rid of the road for now. Oh, 
Ah, new lieutenant available. Very nice. Right, so he's also going to sell coffee. How close are we to doing that? 66 out of 100, so we've got a little bit longer to go. So this is just going to house coffee and any illegal stuff that we produce. Groovy! So we, we do have, fundamentally, a very legal, very capable coffee selling company. I think that's pretty clear. Look at that, we've got 8,000 in dirty money now. But no cash in there, which means it's all gone to the jewellery store. No, it hasn't. Where the hell is it then? Oh, here it comes now. 3,000 there, a couple of thousand there. Right, so we want to get all of these back to being paid by illegal money. Because it's so much easier to work with that. Although for that to work, there does need to be some cash in here, and there isn't any. So that's a problem. So this has now got too much cannabis. And the storm's on the way. That's some pretty scary rolling thunder right there I can hear in the background. Pretty damn scary, in fact. Right, I may need to boost the warehouses because I think they're a bit, a bit low. This guy's storing dry cannabis, but not any of this stuff. I need another warehouse. Oh, come on, fit in that gap, damn your ass. Where will you go then? Go there, huh? That's annoying, that's one of my... Maybe we could put a little road... Like that, and then a warehouse there. to be because we can't have this completely full up with cannabis all the time we need to split the jobs right how are we doing with that guy kind of need that 10 grand 74 out of 100 I could upgrade these to start producing more opium the level two farms because they're level one farms at the moment hardly doing anything no cash no cash oh man there's some rain coming down right there Uh, how are we doing here? So we've done 125 units of this and no units of that. That's interesting. Uh, coffee, opium. Are we producing any? Got some goods, we just don't have enough opium. So let's boost the opium production. Once we stop selling 100 units to this guy over here, we should be able to start producing opium and selling that as well. these up and running. Oh, hello. Colomo Falco stares into the phone's receiver as if trying to see through to the other side. Then he holds the phone back against his ear. He found what? A whole lab, Juro Podios Capo. Lab. 
Do we need a lab? Right, that's 10 grand of legal money. That's very helpful at this moment in time. I don't need a lab, so 10 grand of legal money is much as appreciated. So the jewelry store has not got enough cash in it. We haven't got any cash here. We're barely making enough money here to survive. But we do have level 3 farms. So let's upgrade. What level are these? These are level 2 farms. Producing 8 units. So I can upgrade all of these. And we'll have even more coffee. Whether or not we can cope with that amount of coffee is... Whole different kettle of fish. What are we working on right now? Streamline processing. Okay, that's a good idea. Groovy. I do wonder whether these workshops should be further away. I suppose they get free delivery that way. But I could move that like over here somewhere and have them transport stuff to them. But then that's going to tie up our transportation system. Which may work against us as well. Alright, come on. 82 out of 100. We're almost there. upgrade these to level 3 opium farms, that makes sense. And I think if I go into research, I can increase the output. Oh yeah, from 6 to 10, that's 4,800. That's a lot of cash. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, because I want these two farms to produce all the opium we need. You see how many flipping cannabis farms we've got. That's ridiculous, the amount of cannabis farms we have at present. So this seems to be processing quite well. Dry cannabis company, and also we will be wanting a drying rack level 2 at some point, but that's 21 grand. 21 grand of legal money, so we're going to have to be making some good cash there to get that working. Right, we are pretty close to this. 20 out of 500, 145 out of 350. Stuff is processing. The fact that we're selling coffee as well hopefully stops this from. Uh... Oh, by selling coffee, you increase loyalty. Oh, that's brilliant. So we are selling coffee. So that should boost loyalty and respect. Which at the moment is a little bit low. But we are selling coffee, so. That's good. Right, we've got streamlined processing. That means this should be happening 2.4 hours quicker, which over time will be quite impressive. So we're not enough opium coming in right now. But then we are selling 100 units to What's-His-Face. We're almost done. As soon as I see 10 units of opium going up there, I can shut that down. units of opium. Where's that going? Looks like it's going here. Twelve units of opium, so we're just waiting on a truck, I think. We've got 12 grand of dirty money. Don't know where it is though. Must be in here. No. 
Where is that 12 grand of dirty money then? 3,600 there. Nothing there. And 917 there. So where, where is that money? I can't see it anywhere. Is there a truck taking that opium or what? 18 units of opium, come on. We only need 10 more. Shift arise it. Let's turn off the coffee sales for a moment. We're selling a lot of coffee, but we're not getting the loyalty that I was expecting from selling the coffee. Alright, where's that heading? There we go, that's the last one. We turn opium off. Let's put coffee on there now. We have got 18 units of opium available to us, so if I just add that, we should be able to shift it out of there, put it in there. Where's that going? Right, that no longer does that. We just got 10 grand. Which is superb. We're now sort of even Stevens on this front. Six units of opium. So we've just got to shift that opium out of here, put it into here. And then we're up and running. I think it might be cost effective to uh, tarmac that bit of road. There you go, that's going to speed that up a lot. Have we shifted out the opium? Six units. Come on, get it out. Get rid of it. Now selling coffee. Stop shifting coffee for a minute. Let's get rid of the opium. Bloody hell. Terror has increased after the... Uh, we accidentally sold some opium. We accidentally sold some opium. Directly. Through the uh, checkpoint. That was uh, an accidental mistake. That's one of the problems with the game. I say problems with the game. One of the quirks of the game. You cannot say, just take 10 units over there. If you need 10 units, and you've got you know, thousands of units left, it will just take as much as it can carry. You are, in fact, going to be screwed. Why are we not taking opium here? Come on. Just shift the opium out, please. I want to get it out of this building. It doesn't need to be in here. Good. So now all that shifting is coffee and coffee with opium in it. And you can see the dirty money is starting to come in. We've got some cash here, so I can put all these back to getting paid by illegal cash. It's going to help us out so much in terms of money laundering. I think there's even a thing, yeah, there's a thing here that we can do to make it more cost effective as well. Uh, warehouse one increases storage capacity, that's well worth doing. Right, we're doing pretty well. I could unlock an aerodrome. I think maybe the drying rack might be more beneficial. I'm not sure. We'll see how it goes. So we're pretty well established now. Money is now flowing in to here. Should be 9,000 any second. 9,000. 
that's enough to process that for a week so it's seven thousand a week i can hear police sirens that's a bit worrying oh the music damn it it's picking me right so this guy can have illegal money illegal money illegal money Beat size has just been increased for The warehouses now have extra trucks, that means we're going to be more efficient. So we can now hold up to 90 units of stuff because this is a level 3 farm. And we should now be thinking about this. Yeah, it's on the queue. That's reducing costs, that's increasing stockpile. Good! 20 and 20. Right, this is better. We have a strong foundation now. We've almost done this. We're starting to tick the opium off as well. I think we have a really good, strong base. Now, in order to get access to this airport, we need to build two things over here. One of them is... An amusement park. That's 25,000. I can almost afford to do that. And the other one was a salsa club. That's 14,000. I can afford to do that. Let's build that. See this guy wants. Capo, earlier today you got a call from someone claiming to be police. They said they give one of our ran our warehouses a random spot check. So put some money in their hand. Uh, no, don't worry about it. Our terror offence level is so low, I don't think it's actually a, a legitimate threat, so I'm not too bothered about that. Right, let's go into here and see if I can get a bit of extra cash generated. Um, we have no money here, which is a bit of a worry. There's the casino thing. A salsa club. Please, God, tell me I've picked the right thing. I'm suddenly panicked now. It's also club and an amusement park. Okay, good. So, pretty soon then we'll have access to a full airport that we can start shifting stuff out to, which is crazy. Then we'll have two export points. Uh, that's really going to be good. And we're still selling, legally selling coffee. We've got ten days of exporting coffee goods to... Um, boost uh, loyalty. The loyalty is quite low actually, I'll be honest. I was expecting that to be a lot higher. Right, so we're generating some decent squa squids now. Hyper efficiency level one. Where's that? Where's that? This one. So what does that help? So the cost of, uh, oh look at that, it's nearly 10 bucks saved. I think that's this one, is it? Yeah, no, this one? Yeah, so we're saving 10 bucks there, we're saving uh, 15 bucks there, that's nice. So it's a lot cheaper giving them illegal cash than it is giving them legal cash. And they don't care where their money comes from, it seems. Right, so we've got to transfer nine grand over there to the Salsa Club, while still, of course, putting enough money in here to generate 7,000 a week. I think we're fairly stable. The fact that we have no money in the residence is a little bit of a concern, but uh, not a massive concern. I wonder if I build a cache... I was just thinking if I put a little thing here, a little rat hole here, we might be able to, uh, if we get more than 40 grand at any one time, we can just put it in the overflow. I don't know if that's possible. Right, we should have seven grand transferring from dirty to legal money any second now. 
but things seem to be running very smoothly, I'm very happy. And, not to reiterate a good point, but we are exporting legal coffee, just, just coffee. I mean, we're not making any money off that at all, but we are exporting legal coffee and making some good cash off the back of that. Let's have a look at this guy. Upkeep, so his power is one, his abilities are moving ability, that's it. But he doesn't bring any terror. Mauricio is the celebrity from the seediest Capriarch nightclubs to the glitziest Los Grandes Galas. His name is on every guest list and he always brings his winning smile and a lady on each arm. What's he actually famous for? Nobody can remember. Let's grab him. So we're going to move him over here and then we're going to move Roberto Gallardo. Can he rank up yet? No, not yet. and acceptance is a bit low right so we're only 465 short and there's 465 coming right now so very soon we're gonna have a saucer club which means we're a step closer to unlocking the airport to shift out some of our lovely goods What's going on here? Not enough cash? There should be, there should be plenty of cash about so they're just shifting some dirty cash into all these buildings to try and give them some money so that they can keep themselves afloat. It's going pretty well, I have to say. Pretty darned well. Now one thing that can happen is if you're exporting a lot of illegal goods in coffee, and I mean a lot, uh, the police can sort of pick up on it and then if you sell anything with coffee they'll just take it immediately um, so we're gonna have to be careful of that I may need to start building some farms that produce vegetables for example not for many good vegetable slots if I'm being honest I guess there's one. Two. So there's four vegetable collection areas. So we'll get this warehouse to collect vegetables as well. Now the problem of course with this is it only has so many trucks. So we may need to put a second warehouse in somewhere maybe up here uh, it's probably still gonna have to be in range of this maybe here uh, to help the collection of vegetables and stuff or maybe just right next to it might work let's do that let's go right next to it from there. Is that within range of this? No, it's not, so it's going to have to be legal money. That's just in range. Oh, brilliant. Most of those are in range. We can now start shipping vegetablers. There's no point doing vegetables in that one because it's nowhere near. We will also start accepting vegetablers. We're just going to start selling coffee and vegetables through there. Again, that's legal business. No messing about on that front. Let's build it now. We use legal money on that one. We've got a bit of cash, so. We'll 
have exactly the same setup over here, vegetables and coffee. And that can't reach all the vegetables over there, but that one can, so between the two of them that should work okay. How are we doing on research? Battery farming. So that's going to boost the amount of opium that we're producing. Okay, we've got too much coffee coming in here. And there doesn't seem to be any way of stopping it from coming in either, which is quite irritating. So, yeah. So all of our level 3 farms... The farm stopped off the last one. All of our level 3 farms are about to almost double the amount of stuff that they produce, so we may have to start shutting some of them down. We'll see how we get on. Obviously that one's just outside of the range. No, that's that's in range, isn't it? No, it's, technically it's outside, even though it looks like it's inside. Yeah, you see that one's connected. That one isn't. That one's going to have to be legal money. We'll put another residence over here and that should sort that out. Why is that getting so much coffee? Why isn't the coffee going to here? It just it, this is one of the quirks of the game is when it's full they don't stop taking the coffee there they just continue taking it there uh oh potential enemy buildings we found a suitable building but the money inside was taken from the nearby pueblos Indig indigenas sum is twenty one thousand. we could take the building keep the money or we could return it uh for their loyalty let's return the money Brilliant. That was a massive uh, respect increase. So we're going to have less gangs attacking us now. That's really nice. Very nice indeed. And we are processing 7,000 there. How much, how much is here? Nothing. Still nothing. <coughs> Good lord. Right, so how is this looking... an awful lot of cannabis in all of a sudden so research I think it's time 21,000 in research that's a lot of cash to invest in that I'm about to get some money in so okay I think I'm happy to do it so we're gonna have a level 2 drying rack which can dramatically increase the amount of dried cannabis we're producing because we're still very low on that front, despite the huge amount of work and effort that we're putting into growing it. But uh, yeah, that's all cool. That is all cool. put a road down here and then maybe a, another warehouse oh, I reckon I can squeeze a road through that gap oh yeah that's epic that's super good news that is I can put another warehouse there without really losing any Central stuff. I think there's a road going down there, which is good. Always good to put a road down before you put a building down because the buildings are actually much bigger than their footprints suggest. Right, 40 grand of dirty money. 
That's muchos, muchos cash coming in. We need to start shelling out more of it. It's not here, though. It's not there, though. So where the hell is this money? Right. So every two days, that's giving us some legal money. So let's increase the amount that we're paying in there. There's 20 grand in there, which is nice. And our loyalty and respect is super high at the moment, so that's epic. Things are definitely ticking over rather nicely. Money is flowing through there pretty quick. We can keep 350,000 there, which is kind of nice. So lots of avenue for money going through there. We could export chickens right now. We'd be making even more money. I think I can produce chickens. Oh, I can. So where can we put the chicken farm? This is kind of dead space over here, so I could just put a gravel road. this. Okay, groovy. Level 3 farm, producing chickens. We just start with three. Something just went very red there. What's going on? So they get they've got too much coffee. This is the uh, the increase, of course. All right, we'll let our dirty dirty money pay for that. We're going to start shifting coffee and chickens with this um, because, as I say, we've just gone up to level three. I think we've just maybe unlocked this. Yeah. So we're now producing nearly twice as much stuff as we were before. So this one little production company cannot cope with it. So we'll just have this one just shifting out coffee and chicken. And um, that will help things along. So that warehouse can now take chickens if I can find them. guys take chicken? Yes they do. Right so this this is set up to take anything. So I guess that's not a terrible thing. So anything that's being produced can just go out there now. Again, that's, that's getting way too much coffee. It's getting way too much coffee. Perhaps I need a second one of these as well. What are we doing for opium? Okay, there's a lot of opium there. So I think actually I need a second workshop. The thing is that workshop isn't in range of that. would be.
we need to double up on the amount of stuff that's coming through here. It's legal money spent, 5,000 something on. How are we doing now? Right, there's a bit of cash in there, not huge amounts. Most of our dirty money is probably wrapped up over here. There's only a little bit in there, that's weird. 18 grand in there though. Right, so coffee. Let's do, let's do vegetable on this one. Vegetable and opium. Or does it make sense to do coffee as soon as we're producing so much coffee? Your APM. So if I get another transport company, like literally on the corner there, set that up the same way as that, and that should increase the amount of transportation stuff we're doing. So let's do some dry cannabis as well. So that's doing a bit of everything. It's kind of handy. A lot of stuff going through there right now. We may be overloading this fairly soon, look. Might need to do some research on checkpoints. Hang on, what checkpoint level is that? Just a basic checkpoint, okay. So, went to research. Is that a checkpoint? That's a C point. That's a checkpoint. Additional terminal. Okay, so let's research that. That unlocks additional terminal which is very expensive but essential or I could just do that one for 28,000 and skip that one to 16 so well there are there are additional terminals anyway okay fine hyper efficiency right I think that's where we're gonna have to focus our time making this more more efficient uh, any more lieutenants? No. These two crazy, crazy mofos. Right, I think we're going to have to increase the amount of money that we're processing through here. There's still no money in here, but what's good is it takes the money out of here and it spreads it around all of these places. So they've got cash in their pockets to cover their costs, as it were. Seems to be going pretty well. 490. Oh, look at that. We just need to do 10 more opium packaged thingies. We're rocking and rolling. So no vegetables are getting in here. They have no vegetables. All the vegetables are going to here and here and being sold legally. Okay. If I come in here and temporarily turn off vegetables, then we should find that it all starts... Or we could just do coffee. Let's just do coffee. So we'll sell vegetables legally until such times that we need to turn that off and start processing our goods through there. All right, how much is it? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Twenty-five grand. We could build it. can't funnel money through all three of these locations. Hmm. There's residence level two. All the way up there, that is a long way away.
Oh, I can just refund that straight away. I don't need to. Oh, because I'm already in level two, so I can re I can do anything. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Didn't know that. Just learned that. No connections. Whoops. Now you have a connection. Start shifting some of that stuff out. So you got loads of opium. Oh my god, we have a lot of opium. We have a lot of opium. Way more opium than we're actually processing. We're gonna have to get an aerodrome in and start shifting stuff out manually. We're only 10 away from this. We've very nearly completed this episode, guys. Still too much coffee in there. And that's only a level 2 farm. cannabis hang on a minute can I upgrade this oh, I thought I'd done this was that what we're researching right now it is we've almost got the level 2 drying rack that'd be epic but according to this it's still not getting enough cannabis in Still not producing enough cannabis. These are level three farms. Are they all level three? They are all level three farms and we're still not getting enough cannabis. Holy cow. Obviously takes a lot of cannabis. Job done. Okay guys, groovy stuff. Uh, that took us two hours. But we're taking it nice and steady and nice and easy. We've, what we've got now is a foundation that should just continue to bring money in nice and clean without too much issue. Bear in mind, anything can change on a dime in this game. It is so complex, so confusing at times. But we've done a pretty good job. We've completed our first um, mission. So let's just read what she has to say and then we can continue on in the next episode. Secretaria de Agricultura y Desarrollo Rural, what do you say to this appointment? Guillermo Falco knows this, but that suits him just fine. Knows what? Is it, I'm sure there's a few mini bugs in here. Bear in mind, this is pre-launch, guys. Any bugs that we see in the game will undoubtedly be fixed for release, before release, or just after. So uh, don't worry too much about it. I will play the part, Jeffer. I see. Camilla Cavantes twists a small black key into the lock on a stellaretta. Do not take me for a fool, senor. The lock clicks and she pulls open the latticed doors to reveal a collection of glassware, champagne flutes, whiskey tumblers, shot glasses, etc. All different from each other and assembled without any appreciable organisation. Roberto keeps his cards close to his chest, but I can tell when he thinks he holds a winning hand. And until I figure out whether you are un as or un commodin, I will have to keep you closer. From the cellar rent, she pulls a bottle of clear spirit and three glasses. Are we expecting company? Allowing the doors of the cellar rent to swing closed loudly behind her, Camilla transfers the bottle and glasses to the writing table and calls out. Wagner, tre tu culo aquia. Suddenly, an owl-faced man hastens into the office. The man is outfitted in a newly tailored plum-coloured suit, 
His plum bottom lip is surrounded by a thick white beard and a moustache that twists into a curl on each end. Senora Cavantes, thank you for this chance to... Calense! The focus is unmoved from the pouring of mezcal into two of the three glasses. Falco wears a perplexed grimace. Guillermo Falco, this is Wagner Castilleron. Castillon's ears perk up. Falco? You mean as in... Excuse me, Jaffa, but what is this? Por favor, Calense, ah, por Dios. A splash of mezcal escapes from her. She wipes the glass with her thumb. The PRE is hoping to establish a foothold in the south of the country. That means Belenas, Riomanas, and Monteleon. I'm putting you in charge, but Wagner here will be my eyes. If he tells me you bought even a mulatta for the dirty dollar, I'll have you out of this party. She pops the stopper back into the top of the glass and slides a glass to Falco. Then she passes the empty glass to Castilleron. We wouldn't want another incident like the rack house, the dad. Wagner pushes his spectacles up over the bridge of his nose. No, Senor Cavantes. Right, let's just pause this a second. And um, I'm thinking, I just had a realisation that all this extra coffee we have, we should be shifting up to what's his face so let's do that because i'm not going to remember on the next episode if i don't do it right now it's up here wasn't it tiguan so let's talk to him let's do a trade I mean, he's about to become our enemy and we don't want that so we're going to sell him coffee um Okay, so I've got to do this first. So I've got to sell him 150 units of coffee in 18 days. So I'm going to say, deal. It's a long way to travel, though. Huge way to travel. It'd be really good if I could unlock, <laughs> if I could find my base. It'd be really good if I could unlock this then send stuff up to him via water. Could actually do that, couldn't I? Does he have a water-based? He does. So I could shift it there and then transfer it onto him somehow. I don't quite know how I'm going to do that. So for now at least, uh, we'll have a dedicated team. that went white for a second How annoying Pop this here. Oh, I said pause. Why did it unpause? Uh, we'll build it now. We've got the cash. Um, but we need to shift out some opium as well, so that's another thing. Um, okay, so that's going to be done via... That's within range of that, so that's perfect. Right, we'll just let this build up. This guy has got, see, too much coffee. I might build another transport company just there. Right. So, logistics, uh, cargo, so none. We're just shifting coffee, and we're going to shift it all the way up here. To this guy. That is a long way away. That's a bit of a concern. Don't know if I can actually get it to him in time. If I had an airstrip, we could do that, couldn't we? Where do I, when do I send it to? Have a look-see here. 
yeah, the city. So that bit there. Okay. So that's that done. Well, that side, anyway. Hopefully that will reduce the amount of coffee that extra coffee that we have. Boom. That's that being built. Build it now with clean money. Right, well, I think we're making enough cash now to start generating 24 grand, so we can put that on to maximum. That one's already on maximum. This one is not being built, but it needs 25 grand, so I have to do something about that. I suppose what I could do is ditch the saucer club in favour of that temporarily. Right, cargo, nothing but coffee. Logistically, I don't even know. I, I, there, there's a really strong chance that we won't get the mission done in time. You can't put two connections into one place. So we've got two trucks. Um, hopefully, that will fill up full of coffee. And we'll be able to shift all that pretty quick. And then they won't turn against us as an enemy. We may even get them to become an ally. What's going on here? Maximum amount of vegetables. Okay. So. Let's turn vegetable production off for a minute. Swap that to vegetable production. that can remain on coffee production because it's already got so much coffee and that's got so much of that stuff right how much is it going to be for an aerodrome uh can i go for a level two aerodrome how much is that Thirty-three thousand. i could research that but we don't have enough cash so let's go for a level one um just so we can get rid of some of this opium out because we are producing, even though we've only got two farms, we're now producing so much opium that we can't actually cope with it, which is a bit of a concern. So that's holding opium, yet it doesn't store anything, which again is a little frustrating. You know, if that got to 200 and stopped, and that got to 200 and stopped, and then that got to 200 and stopped, that would be an extra 200 units of opium that we could process without having to worry about how the hell we're going to process it, if that makes sense. I suppose I could reopen this and get that to hold opium. Let's connect the road up to it. That's not a huge cost and it might help offset some of the... I don't know. I don't think it's going to work because nothing is quite in range of it. If we upgrade it to a level 2 warehouse, then maybe that would work. Oh, level 2 warehouse, that's a good point. Workshop level 2, drying rack level 1, lab 1. Warehouse level 2, how much? 10 grand, all oh, that's worth doing. Previous nodes must be researched first. So I haven't researched this, so it's not going to let me do it. Botheration, alright, well... We've got lots to think about in the next episode. In, in amongst all of that, we're going to hire Wagner Castrillon. We could do that right now, actually. Let's do that as our last thing today. Recruit the guy. He's got a science background. Wagner is drawn to chemical process optimization. He's uh, fastidious, sometimes even frustratingly pedantic, but he knows how to get results. His ego is somewhat tied up with the purity of the product. So that's good could be very useful. Open his profile. Ah! That's a bit useless. It's going to give access to a dryer level 1. I could have done with this guy at the beginning of the game, to be honest with you. Or a farm level 2, which um, unlocks farm level 2, reduces its construction cost by 15%. Unlocks dryer level 1 and reduces its construction cost by 15%.
honestly. That's not very important to us. I don't think we need that. Uh, let me just come here to dryer level two. Can I upgrade this now? I can. So that's going to start producing more dry cannabis, um, which means it's going to require more cannabis, which means we'll have less cannabis in storage. So all of that sounds to me like a positive, positive, positive. All positive stuff. And we've got a little bit of cash left, so... pounds spent just upgrading the, uh, the road quality there so they're not taking vegetables for a little while until they process that good well i think we're in a good position guys uh, that wraps it up for this episode thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one till then take care goodbye for now goodbye for now